Well, here we are at the VW Nut Garage. Both my red cars are here. I already took this piece of trim off. All right, so we got the uh, door trim, chrome trim molding off of there. And uh, gonna be some good patina showing through under there. Um, but I thought I'd bring you guys along to show you these two screws right here, I believe, go to hold the door handle on. So let's start there. I had to peel the um, rubber seal back so I could find them, but I don't know why you wouldn't take the door handles off when you painted it, uh, being as, if it's as easy as I remember it being. Uh, but I guess it, uh, Mako or, uh-oh, uh-oh, Mako or whatever, they didn't care too much. Got it. Probably dropped this one too, same spot, so. And then all I did was I just pushed. Oh, you guys can't see that. There you go. So all I did was I just pushed this forward like that and it comes right off and then to get in the car you just reach right in there push the button for now so we'll put those screws back in there and we'll move on to the uh, that piece of trim and then uh, I'll get to wet sand it um, I've got to take off the antenna you guys remind me to take off the antenna hopefully I remember well all the hardware is off um, and most of it's made up and it looks like the only place I'm gonna need a, a heavier grit sandpaper is right right through here so I'll do that first and then with the rest of the door um, 1500 then 2000 then buff it it should be fine on the vertical on the vertical surfaces where the weather didn't have a chance to sit and this is a pretty big one so um, it should come out okay I'm not gonna bore you guys with the sanding of course um, but I will show you as we go along and this is how I'm starting so I'll bring you back in just a second and we'll see what happened after I put some sanding to it well we wet sanded that front corner and the door oh the camera's doing stupid things there and the door let's not get stupid camera well I've wet sanded and dried uh, that entire half of the car and it's probably going to turn out as good as the rest of it, I can only imagine. Um, so I'm going to buff it, and then we'll come back and take a look. That's what she looks like after the first round of compound. Um, I do feel like the camera is doing it justice. Uh, it's almost as shiny as that fender, uh, so I can only imagine that it will be as shiny as that fender. Um, I'll bring you guys back after I uh, put a couple more issues of compound to her. Well, I hope it's coming out from where you guys are. Uh, it looks like red glass right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some more product on it to protect the finish. Uh, a couple of different kinds of wax. And uh, once I get all that on and off, just like the Karate Kid, I will uh, bring you guys back and show you the finished product. Well, we got most of the chrome put back on, all of the buffing done on this side with the exception of that rear fender. Um, and it came out unbelievable. Like some of the patina in here is... Some of the patina in here. Too funny. Um... Oh, stupid camera. There we go. Working on a uh, different camera situation, too. I got some other footage I'm reviewing off another camera that I think is going to work way better. Um, so, now, Patina needs to get her nails done, so I'm going to take that one that doesn't need any buffing, and it's already shiny, um, for a ride, and we'll bring you guys along. Ruby loves to take you guys for a ride. Alright, let's go for a ride. Right? Let's go for a ride, right? Right here.
get up here. Hey, Katina Marie. Come on. Get up here. Get up here. <laughs> I'm going to choke you up in a minute. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Well, this side still needs to be done, but I left it like this right now so we could see what I started with. And then we did the top. and the bonnet. And the front fender. And the whole side. Minus the rear fender. and the deck lid. Well, here we are today at the VW Nut Garage. And uh, I got, oh, we got almost that whole side done. Almost this whole side done. And the whole top, and the whole roof, and everything looking nice. This fender has obviously been replaced and doesn't match. So, uh, we're going to take a, uh, probably just 2,000 on the wet sand for that. I don't know if I will, uh, probably leave the headlight bucket, or the tail light bucket on there. We'll see what happens. I'll, uh, I'll get you doing some work and bring you guys back. Well, I'm about to pull this uh, light bracket off of there, but before I do, I, uh, I drew myself a picture in coordination with the uh, wires, just so when I put it back, it makes it easier. Um, so Patina is helping. Uh, the battery is about to die, but she is definitely, I'm not sure what she's helping with, but she's helping. Are you helping? So we're just waiting for the uh, the fender to dry. It's all wet sanded. Oh, stupid. There we go, camera. It came out cool. I can't wait to buff it. I don't know if it's going to get shiny. It's definitely not going to match. But it's got some cool patina. I left the mud where it wasn't peeling off, but one of those things you start digging into it you'll get all the way down to nothing and I'm not sure if that's something I'm gonna do in the future but for sure I'm not gonna do it right now this is the finish as soon as I buff it all right so we got that fender all done and when I washed the fender after I wet sanded it, I washed the whole car where I had wet sanded and buffed this whole side and the roof and the bonnet and the deck lid. Um, and so now it's all, the whole thing is in wax drying. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of karate, a little more karate kit and wax off. And uh, bring you guys back. You won't believe it when I'm done. Well, again... This is where I'm going to call this video, so I'd like to thank you guys for uh, coming by the VW Nut Garage. And uh, we're about half there. A little better than half. But some of the cool spots of patina are pretty awesome. Some there. Some there.
some there, more there, and there. And that rear fender was the last thing we did and it came out pretty nice. And this is the side we still have to do. It's easy if you can hear it. Listen to this side. Nice. And then listen to this. So we're getting there. We'll finish the body work. Uh, if that's what you want to call it. And uh, get to the um, sheet metal next. Super happy with the car. And the project. So uh, we'll see you on the next one.